Breast cancer is the most common cancer that affects women worldwide. If you want to know what these risk factors are of developing this disease, then stay tuned. Hi, my name is Dr. Tasha and I'm a breast surgeon here to talk about health in general and breast cancer specifically. So there are many risk factors linked to breast cancer development. A risk factor can be defined by anything that affects the chances of that individual getting the disease. So let's get through them. You can broadly categorize these risks as modifiable and non-modifiable, i.e. those within your control and those outside of your control. Let's start with the modifiable risks. Excessive alcohol consumption increases risk. Research has shown that the risk is directly linked to the amount of alcohol consumed. Women who have two to three drinks a day have approximately a 20% higher risk of breast cancer compared to women who don't drink alcohol. Women who have only one alcoholic drink a day have a very small increased risk. It is estimated that drinking two units a day causes one extra woman out of every 50 to develop breast cancer. So what's in two units? This equates to a double measure of spirits, a pint of lower strength beer, and about a standard glass of wine. It is not entirely clear how alcohol affects breast cancer risk, although some theories suggest that it might change the hormone levels in the body, including estrogen, therefore increasing risk. Being excessively overweight or obese is a risk factor. Again, this is a complex area and it is thought to be secondary to the increase of level of estrogen in the body. Estrogen is mainly produced by ovaries in the premenopausal setting. Estrogen level significantly reduces as women approach the menopause. In the postmenopausal setting, women's estrogen mainly comes from fat tissue. And so increase in fat tissue, especially in the postmenopausal setting, is thought to raise estrogen levels, hence breast cancer risk. Being overweight also tends to increase blood insulin levels, which is linked to certain cancers, including breast cancer. Early menarche and late menopause increases risk. If you start menstruating early in life, or you enter menopause later in life, this essentially means that you will have more menstrual cycles. This in turn means that you will have a longer lifetime exposure to estrogen, increasing your risk of breast cancer. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. We know that having children overall lowers the risk of breast cancer. The more children you have, the lower the risk. Similarly, breastfeeding may reduce breast cancer risk, especially if it is continued for one and a half to two years. Again, it is a possibility that the effect is due to the reduction in a woman's total number of lifetime menstrual cycles. Low physical activity. There is increasing evidence to suggest that inactivity increases breast cancer risk. We know that physical activity reduces the risk of breast cancer recurrence in those who have had breast cancer treatment. And so it follows that inactivity increases risk. Now, there are of course risks that we can't control. In other words, non-modifiable risks. Five to 10% of breast cancers are due to an inherited genetic mutation. The commonest cause of hereditary breast cancer is an inherited mutation in the BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene. Women will carry a lifetime risk of about 55 to 65% of developing breast cancer with the BRCA1 gene mutation and about 45% with the BRCA2 gene mutation. On average, a woman with a BRCA1 or 2 gene mutation have about a 70% risk of developing breast cancer by the age of 80. Age is also a risk of developing breast cancer. As you get older, the greater the risk. And this is borne out by the fact that 80% of breast cancers develop in women over the age of 50. But the main risk of developing breast cancer is by virtue of being a woman. This disease is about 100 times more likely to occur in women than in men. And that's because women have more breast tissue than men. So what can you do to minimize your risk of developing breast cancer? It is important to note though that you can't necessarily prevent breast cancer from developing, but you can do your best to reduce the risk. As mentioned before, there are lots of evidence emerging suggesting the benefit of exercise in minimizing breast cancer risk. We also know that exercise reduces the risk of cancer recurrence after treatment. The WHO recommends 150 minutes of exercise per week. But honestly, any movement is better than no movement at all. And exercise doesn't always equate to going to the gym. 
walking, gardening, anything really that gets you moving. Reduce alcohol consumption. The recommendation is to limit drinking alcohol to 14 units per week if you're healthy and a woman. If you have had breast cancer, the recommendation is not more than five units per week of alcohol. And so to recap, two units equates to a double measure of spirits, a pint of lower strength beer or cider, and about a standard glass of wine. And then maintaining a healthy weight. This is not only to minimize breast cancer risk, but also to reduce risks of other diseases such as cardiovascular disease, as well as diabetes. I hope this has been helpful. I'll see you in the next one.